How's it going, you guys? New Age here with another live war ass Wi Fi battle against you guys, the viewers, subscribers, supporters, and lovers of being like a younger, hotter version of Agatha, but like twice as deadly as all the others in the Elite Four. Today, we're using Karen's team, Mono Dark of the Elite Four, for the second time. If you didn't see the first time we used it, it was an intense battle. So be sure. You check it out. And today we are up against Jonathan from Instagram. And we are going to hit that battle start button and see what Jonathan is bringing. And then we will go over what we are bringing as well. So we got to get our cameras ready for those in-game selfies. Because you never know when you need to take a picture during a battle. Because you know sometimes you just look and fly as hell. So I'm going to take a picture of his team. And we are going up against Focus. Get your head in the game, camera. We are going up against Garchomp, Magmortar, Glalie, Swampert, Steelix, and Sceptile. Alright, so we have like a whole team of potential Megas, so that's a little scary. Uh, other than Magmortar, dang, that's terrifying. Uh, and we are bringing Lipard, Vileplume, Honchkrow, Gengar, Umbreon, and Mega Houndoom. Alright, so he has plenty of potential Stealth Rockers. Uh, none of them that we really want to deal with. Real, we really need some ice moves on this team. This team is weak to things like ground and such. What can we do? I think we can start off with life hard. And, you know, figure out the rest from there. We can encore something into Stealth Rocks. That's always nice. Maybe get up the sun. That'll be nice to weaken Swampert. Make our fire moves hit harder for Steelix and Glalie. And Sceptile. Except it will make Magmortar stronger, so we'll have to see what's happening. But anyways, let's let's get this battle started and see what uh what my man is trying to do. So he's actually gonna lead with Glalie. So that's not bad. That's not the worst the worst thing ever. I can tell you right now. D Glalie didn't have an item. Damn it! I can't even knock that thing off. All right, so I think I'm just gonna start right off the bat. Set up the sunny day. We got the shiny Glalie staring us dead in the face with those red eyes. And we will see what he wants to do. If he wants to go for spikes, that would be cool because we could encore him into that. And he's actually going to go for the shadow ball. Alright, that's going to do nothing though. And we can easily encore him into that as well. So that's really cool. And then we can U-turn out, switch into something else that wants to handle this Glalie even better. I don't think I want to bring Houndoom out yet. He's still got plenty of threats on his team. We've got to play this strategically and carefully. Alright. So we're going to Encore the Glalie. And he will be stuck in the Shadow Bond now. So we can easily U-turn out into one of our many Dark Resistances on our team. Sorry. Ghost Resistances. Because we are full-fledged Dark up in here. And we have our Heat Rock on. So the Sun is going to last us a solid like 5-6 to six more turns. So we will be ready to bring us the heat. So let's see, who can we switch out into? Vile Plume can definitely hit him for some damage, but it doesn't resist the Shadow Ball. We want someone that resists Shadow Ball. So he is doing practically no damage. And speaking of damage, that U-turn did a hell of a lot. Not bad. Not bad, Leapard. Alright, alright, let's see. We could even try Honchcrow. Saying up Honchkrow would be nice as kind of like a, a death fodder just to try and take out a lot of his team. We do have the superpower. The only bad thing about superpower is that's going to do a lot of damage, but then lower our attack. So Moxie basically is going to be non-existent by that point. So maybe I shouldn't have brought this in, but that is doing nothing. Alright, so maybe we can actually take this thing out. Let's see how much the Sucker Punch does. If if uh, you turned it that much, Sucker Punch is bound to do a pretty decent amount. <clears throat> if he wants to switch, that's fine as well. But we are going to go for the Sucker Punch because I'd rather not lose our attack stat just yet. He does have some switches here. He does have some plays he can make. I don't know if he's anticipating the superpower, but we'll see what he wants to do right here. <clears throat> that's like 50% of the battle, spewing out your opponent and seeing what they can and can't do or what they will and won't do all right so i think the encore is going to end right here and i don't want to rely on him attacking i'm just going to go for a brave bird right here and he still actually goes for shadow ball and it outspeeds us honchkrow has no speed 
All right, so we're gonna hit him here. We're gonna get the Moxie boost and get our attack nice and powerful. Just the way I like it. All right. So we aren't looking too great on the HP side, but on the attack side, oh yeah. Something is gonna be taking some damage next turn. So let's find out what it is. He definitely has some strong Pokemon still. He's got, he's got the Garchomp, possible Tank Chomp. That's some damage right there. He's got a Steelix as well. <clears throat> Even a bulky Swampert. So he definitely has some options still. But what we're trying to do with this Honchkrow is we're trying to send it out and just put a huge dent in his team. So that way we can use our actual attackers to come back later and clean up. So let's see who he's going down to here. He decides to go out into the Swampert. Could have a potential rock move. That's fine. Could even be a Mega Swampert. So I think I want to feel him out and just go for a Roost. Because if he does decide to go for a rock move, we should be able to take it. Because we won't be a Flying type after the Roost. We just have to hope he doesn't have speed. And he actually Mega Evolves. So he's going to be a Mega Swampert. All right, so I'm pretty sure regular Swampert is very slow. So we should at least be able to roost this first turn and get rid of our immunities or our weaknesses. So Ice Punch, Rock Moves, we should take it pretty well. And he actually goes for the Surf right here. So I don't know if we'll outspeed him now, but we do eat up that Surf very well. All right, so now I think I want to throw out a Sucker Punch, see how much it does. I don't necessarily want to damage ourselves just yet. The only bad thing about this is I haven't been able to see if I outspeed him yet. But Sucker Punch is going to do a heck of a lot. And he's going to go for the Mud Bomb, but that's not going to affect us because of the Flying type. Maybe he was expecting us to roost again and being able to hit us, but no. Not this time. So now I think we're just going to fire off another Sucker Punch. If he wants to stay in an attack, we're going to hit him with that. If he wants to switch out, then you know what? That's just a turn loss. We did lose a Sucker Punch, but you know what? We still got a couple more ready to go. And if we do take him out, we're going to be sitting at plus two. And that is a deadly haunch throw right there. So we're going to go for the Sucker Punch. And it's going to go off, taking out this Swamper. And that means we are getting powerful. We're letting the darkness take us over. Oh, yeah. And the sunlight is going to fade. You know what? Honchkrow, we are letting you do your thing right now. I know you don't like the sun anyways. That's why you got that hat on. Cover up the sun so it's not all up in your eyes. I feel you, man. Sun's gone now. So you know what? You, you can see clearly your vision is to plow through the rest of this man's team. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of what I just said. <laughs> all right. All right. So let's see what he wants to go out into now. Jonathan, my man, is looking a little sketchy. You're gonna have to resort to some drastic measures if you want to take out this Honchkrow. We'll see. We'll see what those are. He definitely has a lot of things that can outspeed me still. Honchkrow is like base 70 speed, and my Honchkrow does not even have any speed investment. It's just a fat bird with some big muscles. <laughs> All right, let's see. He's having a tough time deciding what's going to take this on. Steelix, all right. He's brought out the wall now, people. But maybe a little too late. We're at plus two now, so we are for sure hitting this thing nice and hard. And you know what? I think it's time to unleash the superpower. That's some crazy damage. Nice and super effective. I know we can outspeed this thing, too. So let's hit him with the superpower. Let's see that damage, Honch Girl. Yeah! And we brought him down to Sturdy, unfortunately. That is something I forgot about. But he's going to go for the Dark Pulse. What the heck? All right, that's really weird. But you know what? It's okay. Because now we can outspeed and take out the Steelix. And from there, I don't know. His team is getting less and less bulky as it goes on. I think we might see ourselves a Honchkrow sweep right here, people. So we're going to take out the Steelix. We are going to go back up to plus two with minus defenses. We'll have to remember that. It might come in handy. So because of the superpower, it lowered our attack. But you know what? It was worth it to get that solid shot in on Steelix. And you know what? I think, I think it's time. I think it's time for us to start winning this, people. We're moving closer and closer towards victory. Sceptile is not taking a Sucker Punch, I don't think. Magmortar for sure, I don't think is. I'm like 90% not sure. But he's going to go out into, into the Garchomp now. The one thing that can for sure outspeed us still 
Uh, maybe even without speed investment. Even with, yeah, without speed investment, he still outspeeds us. So we have to be ready to take a hit. So I think we're going to go for Sucker Punch now just to see how much damage we can get off on this thing. Even if we don't take it out. Oh yeah, that is not a tank chomp for sure. But you know what? Our defenses are down. Ah, and he takes out the Haunt Scroll. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. You remember what I said earlier? Haunt Scroll's job is to just punch a huge hole in his team and be ready for the real winners to come out. Not that Haunt Scroll is not a winner. I'm not saying that. But we are ready to go now. Now what do we go out into? He has a Magmortar and a Sceptile left. Maybe. Just maybe. Alright. Alright, I think... Because we don't have a lot that outspeeds him. Alright, I think we need to go out in a Lipard. I want to go out in a Gengar to get it up because I know we outspeed. But we need Sun that's gonna last us a few more turns. Because we are not we are not done just yet. This is gonna take a bit of proper planning to make sure we get this win off. So we're gonna go for the sunny day right here. If he wants to take us out, that's fine. Lipard is always willing to take one for the team, but he actually goes for Surf, so in the sun that might not kill us. Oh yeah, we're chilling. We are chilling. Alright, so here. He does have an item on him, so I'm going to go for the knockoff, get rid of that, and get rid of the Garchomp all at the same time. Not bad. So Garchomp's going to go down here. All he has is a Magmortar and a Sceptile left. So let's see who he wants to go out into. So Sceptile isn't his Mega because he already Mega Evolved. So maybe we can even U-turn on this thing. The thing is, it's going to be very fast. But you know what? You know what we learned from the last battle, people? Even Mega Sceptile. Vile Plume out speeds that in the sun. So we can easily come in with Sceptile and just blow this thing back with the Sludge Bomb. Alright, alright. Let's go, Vile Plume. Did I say that we could switch into the Sceptile? I didn't mean that. He actually goes for Dual Chop. Maybe he was double Mega. Oh, dang. I don't know. But I do know that we can outspeed this thing. So Vile Plume, do what you do, and hit him with the Sludge Boo. Yeah, that made sense somehow. Here we go, Life Orb Sludge Bomb. There's no way Sceptile is surviving this. Life Orb Stab, super effective, and nice and speedy to boot. So all he's got left is the Magmortar. And you know what? I'm thinking about being a little cheeky here. I think it's time we fight fire with fire. You know what time it is, people. Vileplume, come on back and let the real MVP end it as it should be. Let's go, Houndoom. Let's see what kind of fire you bring in. All right. So we got the flash fire up. You know what? Should we, should we Mega Evolve? You know what? Let's do it. Without a nasty plot, flash fire boost in the sun coming from a solar power because the sun is up this is going to do even more damage fire blast let's see how hard we can hit this thing let's go houndoom hit him with the damage damn oh yeah it says not very effective but you know what i don't think he took that very well stat changes were removed it's a little bit too late for that my friend i'm sorry and you know what? We're not going to take any chances here because Houndoom is ruthless. He takes no prisoners. All he does is kill. All he knows is death. So Houndoom is going to finish him off with a Dark Pulse. He doesn't get those bones from nowhere. They come from his enemies. And that is going to be a win on our side. There you go. Good game, Jonathan. That was an awesome battle. And Karen's team pulling through with the sun once again. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that battle. If you did, be sure to leave a like, share the video, comment down below what you think. And don't forget, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more awesome battles like this. And if you would like to have a chance to battle me, go ahead and follow me on Instagram or Twitter. That's where I ask for the battles and you guys respond. And then I say, hey, I may be young, I may be hot, but don't hate me because I'm beautiful because we pack in heat. So until then guys, I'm New Age Steel. Keep on watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later.